now this is a, a pnc illustration for uh, 88 now through this illustration uh, i'll try to explain how we divide identical objects into groups so uh, like uh, in this example there are five identical balls and these five identical balls is to be distributed in three different boxes now it is important that the objects who are going to receive the items who will get the items who will act as a container should be different from each other all should be different from each other right otherwise we cannot uh, the uh, uh, will have to follow a different approach right this approach where we use integral equation method to divide identical objects into groups is valid only when groups are different from each other so boxes are different from each other all three boxes are different so just to an I just to take an idea what we are supposed to do what we are supposed to count number of ways to divide we just let's do it manually first to have an idea what we are trying to do here see one option can be i put one ball in box one and, and uh, uh, there's a constraint also constraint is that no box should remain empty each box every box should get at least one ball right at least one ball in every box so no box is empty so according to this constraint we have to divide five identical balls in three different boxes so one option can be one one three one box in ball uh, one ball in box one one in box two three in box three total is five and then another option is three goes to box two and one each to box one and box three and three to one and one each to two and three another option can be two in box one two in box two but one in box three two in box two two in box three one in box one two in box one two in box three one in box two so you can see um, these are six ways in which we can place we can divide we can place five identical balls into three boxes under the constraint that every box should get at least one ball so answer is six this is what we are trying to count right we have not taken these cases zero zero five or zero four zero zero four one all those because box should should get at least one ball every box should get at least one ball right and 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 the case where all the boxes would have been identical uh, then all these three would have been same because boxes are identical so 1 1 3 1 3 1 3 1 1 same boxes are identical these three same then answer would have been 2 1 1 3 1 2 2 in case the boxes the groups are identical right so we are not uh, focusing uh, we are not uh, 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 going to discuss this thing here because the integral equation method is only when the groups are different when the boxes are different right so every time you uh, most of the time you get this question the boxes the objects would be different and if box objects are identical you make cases and count don't try to apply integral equation method now how how we do how do we do it mathematically how we do this thing like mathematically so let's come back to this question uh, we we, we uh, there are three boxes so we define three variables x1 is number of balls that will go to box 1 x2 be number of balls that will go to box 2 and x3 be box 3 so I'm defining three variables x1, x2, x3 which represent number of balls given to box 1, 2, 3 respectively. So it means the sum of the three variables should represent the total number of balls that I will be dividing in three boxes. I'll be placing in three boxes and, and we have to divide all the balls available. So the sum of the balls received by three boxes should be same as number of balls given in the quotient that is 5 right so this is what we call as an integral equation because all the variables in this equation are integer variables now the constraints x1 is there is a constraint on x1 that x1 should be at least 1 so x1 greater than equals to 1 x2 greater than equals to 1 and x3 greater than equals to 1 because every box should get at least one ball now maximum